Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Gofa Nilungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Head there, say hi, we'll say hi back. Um, check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we put out. Um, thank you for your support. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. I will really, really appreciate it. So today, I'm going to be reacting to British media blames Mohammed Hijab. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. Media is the biggest scam. Instead of informing what's happening, they can very well impart what they want. They can turn black to white, villain to hero and vice versa. Muslims aren't experts in the media, we need to be experts in this field. Information and communication technology has changed rapidly over the past 20 years, with the key development being the emergence of social media. The damage done by media to Muslim community and Islam is so much. Had it been done to any other faith, probably that faith won't be on the planet. But it's Islam, it's the truth, it's from Allah. Islam was there since man set foot on the earth. It will be there till the end. Now, Muhammad Hijab, most of you might be aware who he is. If not, he's an amazing brother in Dawa. He has become the voice of Muslim community. He has done some remarkable debates. MashaAllah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect him. Ameen. We really appreciate and look up to the work he's doing. We actually need much more healthy activism from the Muslim community. Well, here's the actual plot or slander done by primarily by British media and other so-called media, which is nothing but hatred and lies spitting centers. Dailymail.co.uk goes, British Egyptian YouTuber accused of stirring up hatred in Leicester. Islamist preacher from London Travel to city during clashes between Hindus and Muslims amid fierce unrest is spreading to London with protests planned outside Hindu temple. Where were these people when violence actually began against Muslims? Even the police for that matter. Are they even fair? You can't be standing in between people when one side is carrying weapons and bats and hiding their identities and guess what we get in return when we want to peacefully protest. The police act like it's our fault or don't treat its citizens equally or these kinds of headlines and social media hatred. Brother Hijab made a response video. Indeed, it's a good one. He explained very beautifully. MashaAllah, you should check it out. What I will say is that the overwhelming opinion of the Muslim people is that we want peace. We want peace with all communities, not just Hindu communities or uh, Jewish and Christian communities. We want peace with every single community. In fact, our religion teaches us to have such peace. Our religion tells us clearly, Lakum dinukum wa you have your religion, we have ours, and so on. That's the most important thing. And I must say uh, that some of the things that have come out recently about what I have supposedly said about the Hindu community are misattributions and false. So when you say, as Douglas Murray and others have said, that I say that Hindus are pathetic and weak, I've never once said this about Hindu people. I've said this about the Hindutva thug gangs that were dominating the streets and on which on this very channel you can see walking in the streets of Leicester with bats and knives. Yes, I have the videos up. Yes, I have the... What are you going to do? Deny it? We're no longer living in an age where you can try as journalists to dominate the narrative. We're not in the 90s, 70s, 80s or 90s anymore. We are living in the age of social media. Your lies cannot and will not persist. By the way, we don't really believe in these new channels. It was very clear Muslim joined protest for peace and tried to calm the situations down. Instead of appreciating the work, they slander us. For some reason, Muslims always have to come up with exceptions, condemnations, clarifications and more, even when our people are attacked. But when it's them, 
they can do anything and get away with it. Do you see how dangerous it is? It will give fascists more confidence to escalate violence. It's oppressing the other group, context-specific Muslims. And you wonder, why don't we trust you? Muslims want peace with all communities. Our differences will exist. We should agree to disagree. Brothers and sisters, we live in the age of social media where we can debunk falsehood. So always be part of a truthful mission. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect Muslim brothers and sisters. I mean, that's it for today brothers and sisters. I hope you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. Interesting video. Um, I'm thinking to myself just because I sit down here today and say um, Zambia is the most literate country in Southern Africa. Does it uh, and maybe I compare it to Namibia, Zimbabwe, or whichever country you can think of. It doesn't mean that, of course, according to me, that's my truth. According to me, that's a fact, somehow. But it doesn't mean I'm insulting the rest of the countries. That's just according to my research or whatever it is. I don't think people should get upset or their feathers should ruffle up because someone praises their religion over theirs or puts their religion down while I put they put theirs up. We should learn to live with each other at the end of the day. Yes, I believe in this religion. Yes, I'm saying it's better than Christianity. Yes, I'm saying it's better than Islam. Yes, I'm saying it's better than Hinduism. Yes, I'm saying it's better than Buddhism. But... It doesn't mean that these other groups that are mentioned should feel offended. That, that's no need to threaten someone. That's no need to uh, attack someone. It's just let them speak what they speak or whatever they want to say. Even though communities may accept that, the issue also now comes in with the media. The media always blows things out of proportion, reports. Uh, things the way they want to report not based on facts sometimes and uh, In this day and age some of us are just tired with the media many people don't even want to watch the news because there's just so many lies involved Why not report the situation as it is and I think wherever a Muslim practicing Islam is involved they come out as bad but I do really um, appreciate the times we're living in. While the media may be um, reporting what they call their truth, we are also now able to report on certain things. We're not media outlets, but maybe we were there when these protests were going on. It was a peaceful protest. We recorded it, we posted it online, debunking what the media may have said. And I feel like uh, it's the best thing that, that has ever happened to humans because the media is just too much, too, too much. Stop. But anyway, the media feeds off exaggerating things. The media feeds off as long as there's that bad energy, it's going to sell. The news is going to sell at the end of the day. So um, we really have to be wise in the way we act, especially if you know this can find its way to the news the news because media houses will make you look bad for nothing media houses will just i don't know i really really don't know because they're too much now uh, what do you guys actually think about this video your thoughts are always welcome feel free to comment down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video